8. Try 820. Okay, so it's 820. So, so you were supposed to be here at 7. Is that what I said? That's what you said. I'll be here at 7. That's what you said. Okay, so I said 7 and it's 820. What's the big deal? You were going to be late. Why didn't you call me? I couldn't call. I was busy. Busy doing what? Running up and down 6th Avenue to get a new pair of earrings. I have <laughs> dozens of earrings. I could have loaned you a pair. I told you, I can't wear pierced earrings. My earlobes closed up. I could have bitten them open. <laughs> when Sydney was late, he always called me. Wait! I wasn't late. I was the first one in the room. What difference does it make what time it is? <laughs> I'll tell you what difference. You were supposed to be here at 7. At 7.30, they arrive. We have cocktails. And at 8 o'clock, sharp. We sit down and we have dinner. It is now 8.21. I have a big, beautiful bird in the oven. And if we don't sit down to eat in 5 minutes, it might as well fly the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, God help me. <laughs> Never mind helping you. Tell them to save my 12-pound cake on. 12 pounds? You made 12 pounds? They bet the boss went without us. When I have company, I serve the best. And tonight, we are having the best dry cake on that money can buy. Okay, so can't we keep it moist for a while? Moist? Don't you understand that it dries up? <laughs> Food can't be cooked forever. It turns into fossils. Well, then why don't we slice it up and we'll serve cold capon. <laughs> cold capon! <laughs> or a sit-down dinner. What do you think I'm some kind of barbarian? It was just a suggestion. Really? Just a suggestion. Well, how about Franks and Beans? Why not four Big Macs and some milkshakes? I did not get a leg wax at Elizabeth Arden's so I could serve cold cake on. You asked my advice. I'm giving it to you. Why don't we just give them a bag of Halloween candy and let them pick whatever the hell they want? <laughs> get a hold of yourself, Florence. Nobody told you to cook. You could have been at Casa de Casa watching flamenco dances instead of all of your lousy ladle twirling. Ding dong. <laughs> well, they're here. I'll get a chainsaw and cut the wings off. Stay where you are. I am not taking the blame for this dinner. Who is blaming you? Who cares about the dinner anyway? We're here for a date, not a bake-off. I take pride in what I do. I am known all over New York for my cooking. And you are going to explain to them exactly what happened. I'll write a full confession on their dinner napkin. Now take off that Peter Pan apron because I'm opening the door. And I'll just send out to Long John Silver's for some fish sticks. Are you through? <laughs> I am through. Buenos dias. <laughs> you can, but it's wrong. Say buenos tardes. Yes, it's morning. Tardes is evening. Got it. I capiche. No, no. <laughs> you comprendo. Capiche is done. Comprendo is Spanish. I understand. I understand is English. What kind of amigos? Amigos. Very good. Uh, Jesus, you have something to say? There are deep vegetations in the middle of the land, across from the fresh flowers and fresh cattle. Oh. And the red rose. Or your red uh, shoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> uh, the candy, I hope you like them. They are no good. They're no good? See? Si. The candy is no good. See, si. very chewy. Oh, do you mean nougat? <laughs> <laughs> Not no good. Nougat. I'm sorry, there's too many English. But very thoughtful. I'm gonna put him in some water. Uh, just the flour. <laughs> water is no good. <laughs> no, no, no. This time I mean no good is no good. <laughs> well, they're very beautiful. I feel like Miss America. I feel the same sometimes. Miss <laughs> Paint. No, 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 no. She means the lady in the bathing suit. I'll explain later. Olive, are you uh, alone tonight? No, where is she? Jesus Manolo, I'd like you to meet my roommate and chef for the evening, Florence Unger. Mrs. How do you do? My pleasure is most extraordinary.
stream. I am Manolo Cosasuela, and this is my very dear brother, Jesus Cosasuela. How do you do? I feel much better than teaching too much. <laughs> and one for me. <laughs> oh, this is And I, double the better. <laughs> oh, come take a seat, boys. Gracias. You like me in the chair? Sure, park it anywhere. We did. The car's outside. <laughs> no, no, no. She needs to park yourself. Is this who has to sit on the couch? Of course. If it's not too much trouble. Do it the easiest way you can. <laughs> and Florence, do you want to sit on the couch next to Jesus? Or the chair? Manolo, do you want to sit? Ah, back to you, Olivia. Oh, excuse me. You don't like the chair? No, I love this chair. Why don't you like this chair? <laughs> no, no. I gave you the chair. Please sit. I'm not until Olivia sits. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Now you said Olivia. Good, it's my turn. Now I see it. And now you see it. <laughs> Would anyone like anything? Let's try and sit all at the same time, shall we? Of course. Florence, sit. Down, boys, down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This happens all the time in Spain. That's why we have siestas. <laughs> oh, Olive, I'm so much impressed with your home. Oh, you like it? Like it? No, I love it. It's beautiful. Like in El Greco. Who? El Greco? The painter? No? Well, I don't remember who painted it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Olive, <laughs> you, you say to us that your house is too uh, sloppy. But you invite us over, and it's no sloppy. Well, that was before I had a woman to clean up every day. Oh, I had the same thing. It's Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I like my house very neat. Manolo and I are very different people. I am very neat. He is not. I am always on time. He is always late. It's very difficult to live together, you understand? I've heard of people like that. You've heard of people like that, haven't you, Florence? You mean El Greco, the Spanish painter, don't you? Si. You wish to go back to the uh, conversation? Oh, no, I, I cut it. <coughs> well, this sure is nice. I was just telling Flo the other day how we met. Oh, and who is Flo? She is. I am. Flo is short for Florence. No, oh, she is not too short. <laughs> no, no, her name is. Her name too short? No, it's like, um, it's like a nickname. Like, my name is Olive, but some people call me Ollie. It's shorter. Ollie is shorter than Olive? It's a tricky language. <laughs> El Greco is Greek. Si. That's what El Greco means. The Greek. We know. We speak Spanish. Uh, I know, I was, I was thinking about art. I thought about him in a travel guide. Uh, he lived in a Spanish city called Toledo? Toledo. I thought it was Toledo. No, it's pronounced Toledo. She says Toledo, you say Toledo. She says Toledo, you say Toledo. <laughs> Brothers? 
No, 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 not brothers. Uh, you know, uh, happy people. Okay. <laughs> See, yes, they, uh, they think we are uh, gay. We are not gay, believe me. <laughs> we are the opposite. What is the opposite of gay? Not gay. See, we are not gay. In fact, we are the most not gay that possible. <laughs> <laughs> Because every Friday night you only have women over to see you. People say funny things. <laughs> well, we used to play Trivial Pursuit, but now we play poker. What's wrong with that? That's a good point. Florence makes a good point. <laughs> Why is it when men play poker and no one thinks that they're gay? That is another good point. Florence makes two good points. In America, people are very distrustful when uh, two people are not married. Ah, that's true. Jesus makes a good point. Well, Florence is up two to one. Say, you boys would like to start with some cocktails first, wouldn't you boys? Oh, it's not too much trouble. Good. What would you like? Uh, I do not wish to put you through anything, but perhaps a uh, double vodka? Manolo, you promise me, no more double vodka. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my brother is like my mother sometimes. He's right. I'm not good with my liquor. Sometimes I can get aggressive. Sometimes I attack people. Well, you can't have a drink. Drink, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus will have a very, very, very dry martini. I'll put a sponge in the glass. Coming right up. Um, where are you going? Take a pair of freshmen. It'll give you a chance to get acquainted.